welcome to today's video so today's video is also going to be part of my stay at home series so it also have two parts first part is about um, my bag and unfortunately today I'm going to share about which bag I kind of have mixed feelings uh, on and kind of regret a little bit you know because I've always um, you know I always kind of stand by the fact that I really love a bag before I buy it but of course there are certain things about bag that you really know after you use it yourself um, even though I've watched a lot of review videos etc on YouTube or you know uh, bloggers fashion bloggers etc there's still always the little other details that you will only really be able to find out once you actually use it yourself because it could be you know a specific to how you feel um, and your lifestyle or your habits etc and part two is I'm um, sharing some easy Chinese recipes one is an easy soy roasted pork and the second one is just a bitter gourd or bitter melon omelette so these are very easy to cook and if you're staying at home you know um, I can I think a lot of us are staying at home currently so yeah you know that gives us something to do you know a bit more time to spend at you know in the kitchen perhaps and cook something healthy for your family and for yourself you know? so okay let's get into the bag that I'm, I'm really having mixed feelings with for quite a while but I haven't really had the chance to talk about as you can see from the title it's my Antigona bag that I got about two years ago so I got this from my Theresa and you know obviously I love how it looks you know that's why I bought it in the first place I still think it looks like it looks um, I, I still think it looks great it's a very structured bag with some architectural um, you know design it's kind of very it's very solid you know it's very geometric in my opinion and the shape is a quite a unique shape it's a trapezoid I think and the mouth is like bigger than I mean like it's wider than the base and that was one of the uh, reasons I bought it because it was something very different from what I have which usually are more feminine you know classic shapes uh, but I believe the Antigona is kind of like you know entering the classic realm now especially for Givenchy but obviously in the recent years it hasn't been um, that popular or that hot so to speak but that doesn't stop me from enjoying the bag you know it is a great bag especially for work I wouldn't really use this when I go shopping because okay maybe now let me explain why I have mixed feelings about it number one it is so heavy it is really really heavy even without anything inside it weighs like about you know um, twice more than the Alma PM but obviously Alma PM is you know canvas although it has leather uh, inserts here and there but as you can see the Antigona leather is so thick has a very chunky zipper and you know it's just like it almost can be used as a weapon I believe like you can definitely they're gonna feel something to be honest and yeah it's uh, it's just a really um, slightly masculine I think very architecture kind of design that um, I do enjoy now and again uh, but yeah I would say that this is the only bag that I have mixed feelings with uh, on it's mainly because of the sheer weight so when I have a lot of stuff inside like it's full filled up to the brim with like iPad wallet uh, it's very spacious that's a plus I guess but because it's so spacious you can add more stuff in and then it gets even heavier so it's kind of like a vicious cycle uh, but I do like how it looks though I mean to be honest the hardware is still so shiny but one thing I did notice that is that this part where it hooks with the uh, strap hooks the shoulder strap hooks here for the strap sometimes it will come off on its own so it's quite easy it comes off quite easily once if it catches this area specifically so I've had instances when I was using this bag and the shoulder strap suddenly came off because of this you know because obviously when I'm using the bag I'm not like constantly looking at the where the ring is right so I'll just show you how it looks I mean there so you can have it on your the crook of your arm or you know the shoulder strap makes it very convenient just like that or you can just hold it like that by the two handles but honestly it is really really heavy so the one thing uh, I guess the reason I have mixed feelings is that because it's so heavy and I do have to carry other stuff like a separate laptop bag especially if I'm working from home so every day I'll bring my laptop home because I never know when I need to do something urgent too much to carry especially if sometimes when I'm commuting on uh, public transport if you drive like from door to door I think this is fine you know you can definitely use this bag and 
I'm gonna start driving to work anyway soon, but just saying that, you know, since I had time, I had time on my hands, I thought I would just share a little bit on why I kind of regret buying this bag. And to be honest, I do love this grey colour, but sometimes I do kind of regret not buying the glossy black because this grey is a rather muted and um, part of the handle actually has a little bit of scratches right here and you can see some of the colouring coming off. I have from those people who own the uh, glossy black, so I'll show you a picture of the glossy black here. And so yeah, I'm really not using it that much, so it's really like sitting in my closet. So I don't know, I'll see if my sister likes this bag because my sister is a little bit more... You know, I would say she's a little bit more androgynous in her dressing. So yeah, I don't know. Should I let it go? But I don't think so because... I don't know, I still like it. It still has that nice leathery smell. So I would say that the quality of the leather is excellent and definitely can serve as a weapon, to be honest. But yeah, okay, so I think that's it for... um. The part one of this video which is about uh, how I kind of regret my Antigona purchase. Actually, I could have bought the uh, smaller one. I think the smaller one would be better. Uh, my sister-in-law has that. I'll show you a picture here. Uh, it's smaller probably so it's definitely going to be less heavy. But definitely this one, you know, this is a bag where you can like throw everything inside and just sling it over your shoulder and you know, you're done. You have everything you need. Probably except for a laptop. So yeah guys, so I hope you like part 2 of this video where I'm sharing two uh, easy recipes uh, from myself. See you soon. Stay safe. Bye. Just about two tablespoons. And then we do want a little bit of sesame oil. Just two drops, not too much. You can just substitute with dark soy sauce because I think this is a Malaysia thing. But one tablespoon, it really adds to the color and makes everything thicker and looks richer. And then, of course, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Just a pinch. Like maybe one teaspoon. Chinese rice wine. Smells really good. Yeah, a tablespoon. So I'm gonna use the olive oil that I got yesterday. And finally, some corn. So everything is really like, you know, you can just eyeball it. Mix everything together. So if you have, um, if you have oyster sauce you can use that too from this i think that i need a little bit more light soy sauce okay so before frying or roasting the pork you can actually add um a coating of roast Left to marinate here. So now we have to slice the vinegar lengthwise and remove all the seeds. So now I'm prepping the tray to roast the pork. So I decided to roast it because it's much easier rather than pan frying it. So a little bit of oil. I use olive oil, doesn't matter what oil you use.
Here's a little tip that I learned from a Hong Kong cooking program. Add a little bit of oil to make the uh, omelette smoother, just a little bit. ready so here's my easy soy roasted pork strip 